Okay, here is the concept of the chip clips and why I think they work with trigger fingers and with other things. So here is our um, trigger finger release areas. So this is trigger finger, okay, post-surgery, okay? And this is with the chip clips, okay? This is the concept with this and kind of the way I treat as well. So we have um, the distal palmar crease, another crease, we have the thumb crease. We have this little location, which I find super important um, because I think this is why middle finger always kind of goes this way a little bit. And what's interesting to me during um, the recovery of this, I also think not just does this kind of finger roll in towards this one, which I think is part of the problem, but when somebody cups their hand a lot in a protective response, this kind of, this kind of rolls in too, and then this one rolls in. And then we've got issues down through here with kind of, the, the hand just kind of pulling in. So we've got that as a problem. And then we also have the skin that kind of comes through the web spaces like this, all the way getting pulled in towards these locations like that. And then again, they're cupping their hand, everything's pulling in. Um, so my thought is that again, the dorsal skin and the volus skin meet here at the sides and the seams obviously all the way up and down, all the way up and down. But these locations are big ones for me. Um, and this is why I use those chip clips. So the thought is that everything, um, everything is kind of pulling or drawing in, kind of suctioning into that location. So we put our nice wide chip clips here, kind of from here that way, chip clip kind of going here that way. The skin is pulling that way. We're kind of opening up the area, you can even put them a little bit higher if you want to. So the collateral ligaments, I think are big target areas too, um, that we need to kind of open up. So if we're treating, we wanna kind of scrape away from these areas, um, get the volar skin to be looser and get the dorsal skin not to be tractioned around into the hand. Um, and it definitely tractions through here. So taping or treating through here to open up this area is really useful. Same with uh, Dupedrin's releases. This skin comes through the web spaces and gets pulled down. So, um, so trying to get that skin back through, um, definitely kind of up to the line of the distal palmar crease, usually is pretty helpful. So um, it could be doing other things. It could be creating a false pulley, which is perfectly feasible. It could be um, kind of opening the space up so now we get better contractile force on those muscles. What I do know is we have to actually, we're gonna rehab these people and get these, um, these fingers straight. We've got to factor in the little digital nerves too that are running up the sides. Um, they are something that's super important that we need to factor in. And the fingers are gonna kind of rotate. These two will actually kind of sit closer together. Um, so a lot of times you have to kind of roll them out. So anyway, that's my thought on the chip clips and what I do. Um, that's not the only thing I do, but this gives me some good information. Again, if I only put it on one side, then I know the SBRN is a bit more of a, a guy to look at um, if they like it just on one side and then that would lead me up to the radial head as well and then if i just had it on this side then the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve then that would lead me up here to the ulnar styloid and pisiform that kind of relationship and then definitely up into the medial elbow and look at the alignment of that so um, that's pretty much where we're at the only other thing i didn't include was kind of the diagonal lines that run kind of from the base of the thumb to the base of the small finger, base of the index finger to like the base of the outside of the wrist. Um, those lines, I always scrape in those directions kind of to open everything up. And it wouldn't be weird if, you know, somebody pulled in the pinky and the thumb stuck out or they pulled in their thumb and the pinky stuck out because this is a dorsal and volar sided kind of thing. So you wanna kind of open up these diagonals and um, then it should do pretty good with that diagnosis and, and many others, the CMCs, the distal radius fractures as well. So I hope that was helpful.